welcome to the Banker's Monthly Preview for the November issue of the magazine. I'm Kimberly Long, Asia Editor of the Banker, and I'm here with Joy McKnight, Managing Editor of the Banker, to discuss her cover story on 5G technology. Thanks for joining me, Joy. Thanks so much, Kim. 5G technology is being introduced now, kind of, we're seeing it in the UK and we're seeing it in other countries as well. How does 5G differ from 4G technology? Well, it's a big step up, actually. So you have, uh, you know, um, incredibly high speeds, so probably 50 to 100 times the speed of 4G. Uh, you have very high security. Uh, you have lower sort of power consumption. You also have very low latency, so about one millisecond uh, for 5G compared to about 50 milliseconds for uh, 4G. And I think this is super important because in actual fact it starts to enable machine-to-machine -machine communication in a way we haven't seen before. Mm -hmm. And it will also support the move to the Internet of Things and also enable the, you know, what is called the fourth industrial revolution. Mm. Because machine to machine, they don't understand delays in the same way that humans do. So to have such a, you know, very small, you know, millisecond uh, latency actually makes, enables all of that. Mm. And this technology has really been applied now to the banks. They're seeing how they can use it. So where will this be of most benefit to the banks? Well, as a wireless network and sort of the high quality of it means that some banks are actually exploring getting rid of all the wires in their offices and their branches and even on the trading floor. So that's a big area that a lot of banks are looking at. Uh, the other is uh, it enables um, video conferencing and augmented and um, virtual reality in a way um, that 4G just wasn't good enough really to do. And so I think that will enable sort of new customer interactions for one, but also be able to have sort of support that remote servicing of the clients, which is really important. The other area is back to the Internet of Things, IoT. Um, and some banks are really looking at how um, 5G and IoT together is actually going to completely transform different industries like manufacturing and things. So they're looking at those machine to machine communications, but also micropayments. So, you know, some are saying, that banks might have rob robots as customers because they can make all these super small micropayments. Uh, the other areas are really around just the amount of data. It's real time, but it's massive amount of data coming from these machine to machine communications. So that's actually going to have a big transformation effect on banking. Mm. So with all this that's happening, I mean, that's a huge change potentially for the banking industry. Are we seeing the banks starting to implement a 5G strategy? Well, it's interesting. I think a lot of banks uh, are looking at it more as a holistic uh, technology transformation. So you wouldn't really see a lot of banks having just a specific 5G strategy, um, but in actual fact, you're looking at how they you know, combine this with IoT, with artificial intelligence and machine learning, with cloud, which also is an enabler, um, and looking again at how that's going to transform their business models. But I really think they need to get um, started on, on you know, looking at what 5G is going to do for their businesses, for their clients, because the GSMA estimates about 50 countries will have commercial rollouts um, of 5G by next year, by 2020. That sounds like a really interesting feature then, so I look forward to reading it. Thanks very much. Thanks.